All right. Well, well, well. Hello, everyone. From uh, me and Miss Babette. Hope you guys doing well. Another day, another stream. Actually on top of it for once, as per usual. I will just be doing about an hour and a half of gameplay today just to keep things manageable for me. But uh, yeah, I hope you guys are excited. Today, I am going to be playing the Vicar's Light. Oh boy. Ah, how this tank has fallen from grace. It used to be an S tier vehicle. Now it's pretty low in the rankings. In my opinion, it's not terrible per se, but <laughs> it suffers a lot, especially once it's alpha got yeeted. Uh, but I'm going to see if, you know, if the tank can still perform well. I mean, it's it's a light tank. In the At the end of the day, I can probably still perform fairly well in it, but I wouldn't be expecting, like, crazy performance numbers. Uh, the Bachelor, on the other hand, is, like, the light tank that people go to nowadays. But, uh, yeah, I hope everyone's doing well. Hello, Fanis. America, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, America. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you. Hold on, Hero. Appreciate that. Hello to everybody in chat. Hope you guys are doing well. Good evening. Sorry to you Europeans out there. I know it's a terrible time to stream for you, but uh, I felt like doing a bit of an evening stream. So that's why I'm doing an e evening stream today. But it's good for people in Asia. I think it's morning in Asia. So W for that. All right. So Vickers Light. Since I last streamed this tank, it's alpha went from, I think it was 350 to 300. It's hash alpha also dropped. It's DPM. I don't think it's DPM really dropped all that much, but it's it's not the hottest. It's not the hottest. It's pen's not the greatest either. It lost its high view range, and so it doesn't have the highest view range in tier 10 anymore. That goes to the bat chat. Uh, it also lost basically all of the armor around the turret, especially the gum mantlet. Back in the day, the Vickers kind of had an unpenable mantlet, which meant you could actually be a bit of a troll hold down. A vehicle but nowadays nigh it's nothing to rely upon so what does it have going for it 10 degrees of gun depression uh a short reload no alpha but short reload means you actually can perma track tanks pretty easily so that's that's nice i guess accuracy is pretty decent it, it still goes 65 kilometers an hour so it's pretty it's pretty it's pretty uh fast little tank uh but compared to its competition I'm talking about the batch app mostly it, it definitely falls behind a lot but then again, it does have 10 degrees of gun depression, so it's actually pretty versatile in hilly terrain. It's just sad when a 140 pulls up on you, and the tank is practically as fast as yours, and it has like 600 more damage per minute or something, five, 600 more damage per minute. <laughs> it's just like, dig it. <laughs> yeah, you gotta be really careful and play this tank. Let's jump into some games. Oh my, I haven't heard uh, <laughs> what they did to the poor Vickers. That really slashed it. Yeah, they did. Yo, Fatness, good morning from Southeast Asia. Hey, JP man, good morning, good morning. Um, is Vickers worth grinding? I'm gonna be honest, if you are in for a very competitive light tank, your best option is probably gonna be the, uh, One pound from the Bashathion. Siri, thank you, Set Sri, Sriel, Sriel, thank you very much for the donation, really do appreciate that. Alright, let's jump into it. First game, Leo 1, that tank has about 700 more damage per minute than my vehicle if he's running rammer. Yes, I didn't talk about the equipment, I'm running rammer because like this tank doesn't have alpha and it barely has competitive DPM if you're going to be fight, fa fighting tier 10 meds. So I'm just going to take it. I'm going to take the fact that I can pen and truly embrace the light tank experience i believe i have a 263 here for support gonna go for my usual early spotting position here this is always a good spot this little bush here but just make sure not to sit here because you can see that tank destroyers can shoot you if you get spotted up in this position so it's always wise to uh relocate pretty oh wow that concept just got just destroyed not having a good day is he all right e100 oh there is a yeagaru on the enemy team now i can't pen this oh wait it's his rear <laughs> I was like, I can't pen this dude. No, 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 no. He's not even looking at me. Nice. So we should get a bit, we should be able to get a few small shots into him. I don't know if that one penned. And it looks like the enemy lights are not here. Didn't want to overextend. I'd rather take it easy off the bat, especially on this map. But as you can see there, Sheridan and Leo 1 are both currently in Narnia. So let's aim for a lower plate shot here. Not quite able to hit it. The Vickers is okay at distance. Still not like the most accurate tier 10 uh medium tank or light tank gun but it it is pretty good especially once you give it a little bit of time to start aiming in properly all right so the enemy team have already lost a player the enemy's yag is in a terrible spot 
I'm gonna get ready to start pressuring behind, but you gotta be careful when you're pushing through here. It's It can sometimes be a bit awkward trying to back out into cover. And so I'm gonna try and not overextend and um, hope the gun treats me well and stops missing. Thank you very much, gun. All right, we should be good now. Here's where the vicar should cook. Fortunately for me, the enemy team did not commit to the med side and oh my, wow, this is um not what I was expecting from this gun. Okay, 277, man, I love this alpha. We are getting some lovely low rolls here. 259, heck yeah, man. That's, that's what I'm talking about. Low tier alpha it is. 285, we have not rolled average once so far. We have low rolled every single shot here. Hey, we finally high rolled, 314. Glad that made up for the three consecutive low rolls there. Let's see if this one high rolls too. 282, yeah, you can see why it takes forever to farm damage up in this tank nowadays. Even with this DPM, the alpha is just not cutting it. Uh, the enemy team is also not cutting it. They are all... Very, very dead here. So, I'm gonna yellow for the E100. The 263 probably has the Sheridan here, who, is, who isn't even moving. Um, yeah, silly Sheridan. Okay, well, that was just, uh, thank heavens for the 7-0 sweeps, man. I was, I was a bit worried about that game, man. Anyhow, ooh, we surfing. Well, yeah. Great first game! Let's go! 200, uh, 2,000, what? 2,200 damage there? Or 2,600 almost? Which, uh, was top three still. 263 farmed. But my gosh, those rolls. <laughs> That's why I'm just running rammer. I'm like, if I if I can't if I can't roll high enough to kill things, I may as well reload as fast as possible. Heard <laughs> something about an accurate gun. I, I said it was semi-accurate. I said it was pretty good accuracy. It is pretty good. It, it can still troll you a little bit. It can still troll you a little bit. That's that's true. Um, <laughs> Fatten is pulling us with these streams. Uh, a little bit. I do my best. Well, the Sheridan was drunk. Yeah, the Sheridan decided to take a 1v1 oh against God. the 263, which... That's not gonna go well. The 263 has just under 4,000 damage per minute. Your poor 2,500 damage per minute Sheridan is gonna get cooked if it tries that. Okay. So, should I try spotting left side or right side? I'm trying to think. I kind of doubt the pan's gonna cross, and if he does, I'm hoping the PTA spots him up. So, I'm gonna spot the crossing here. All right, let's put aim a shell into this man's. Nice, there we go. Now the gun is working. Just as I had always planned. This dude's gonna get lit up in a moment. Okay, the patent might have spotted me. Might have spotted me, but I don't think he did. Lovely. And we do have a Leo PTA in the corner. And I just gotta watch out for this patent in case he has a little bit more aggressive support over here. There is a chance that could be the case. I'm gonna at least spot the crossing and still hold back. Okay, Minerato and Jagger over here. Was not expecting that, uh, but there you go. We do have the Minerato and the Jaeger Roo. And here is the M48 Patton, who uh, I unfortunately was unable to hatch snipe, but dude is like completely lost. Let's put a hatch shell into him. The good thing about the Vickers <clears throat> is it still has its hatch shells, although it doesn't have the, the saucy 440 Alpha that it once upon a time had. This Patton is lost in the sauce, man. I should be able to pick up a quick clear on him. Here's where this DPM does actually feel pretty pretty decent when you're just going pew, 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 pew. And it uh, looks like the enemy team are being a little bit more aggressive on the heavy side. So, I would love to have my allies clear out this jaeger here or Minerato. So, I think what I'm going to do, actually, is their heavies are all isolated on this flank. This Minerato is going to be completely free in the open. So, I'm going to see if I can start dealing with him just a little bit here soon. And there we go. Quick shot into the Minerato already. Good stuff. The Minerato is just backing up into the open. There's not much for him to do here. Let's put another Hesh shell on the one. 293 with Hesh. That's less than my AP Alpha. Oh, yeah. This Minerato is Jover. It's Jover for him. 383. Jaeger is still distracted. The reason I didn't overcommit, I didn't want the Yag just to turn around and start uh, eating me. But it seems like that's going to be the case anyway. So I'm going to start... Pushing forward for Mr. Jagdpanza here. There we go. We could just pick up a quick clear on the Minerato here. And here's where just being a light tank is always a lot of fun. All right. Let's try and track the Yag. There we go. Yagaru tracked. And we're going to get to his side here. We should be able to track him again. And, um, oh boy. Oh boy. <laughs> Please kill him. Thank you very much, E75. Apparently the, uh... I wasn't able to damage his uh, tank while tracking him there, unfortunately. I think he hit a little bit towards the upper lower plate instead of hitting it to the side of the hall. But we're doing pretty good. Four to two now. I think that was the right play to make there. Going for the kind of counter push over onto the Minerato. Let's aim in for the Yo's lower plate here. Very good. A bit of a higher roll for once. Let's go. You love to see it. And oh, we actually get a Ricochet. Would you look at that? The, the rare Vickers Light Ricochet. 
Apparently, I just can't pen a Yo's weak spots. Wow, he actually hit my hatch. That's crazy. I should be a little bit careful here. They are two auto loaders. I think that one of three is pretty low HP portion. Oh, hi, Bobby. Hello. Crazy little kitty. All right, let's put another shot into this Yo here. Bobby is stepping on my computer and causing weird things to pop up. You love to see it. I'm just going to not waste my time against this dude who's apparently just very eager to sit here and stare at me till the E3 picks him up. Never mind, E3 done failed at picking him up. Ooh, easier damage. I'm going to go for it. <laughs> All right, 5,000 damage has been dealt. Let's track the M103 here. Very good. He did, unfortunately, repair his tracks, but he's too slow, maybe? Oh, nope, nope, nope. I got baited. I done got myself baited, boy. All right, let's see. Ooh. No, 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 no. Turn the other way. Thank you. Nice. A little clear there. Hey, we got 5k damage out. Let's go. It was all, most of it was on the Minerazzo that I got behind, who fortunately couldn't really turn around because the other dudes were looking at him. I mean, he could have backed up and tried turning around, but yeah, there was no chance he was uh, wedging me out there. Only took two games to ace this tank, but I, I have a feeling the ace bar probably isn't crazy hot on it, but uh, five and a half thousand damage there. I'll take it. That was a pretty, pretty interesting battle. Uh, the Patton on the enemy team was exploring exploring <laughs> beep beep buzz buzz <laughs> vickers hash equal leo ap is it 360 now oh my gosh dude it used to have i think was it 420 or 440 hash alpha those were the days <laughs> yes sir i love having the high pen he though at least the vickers still still has it at least it still has it but like it's hardly high pen like high damage he anymore like it, it gives you pretty much a 105's alpha um maybe you'll roll a little bit higher than a 105 on the regular with the hash but it's it's definitely not not ideal but hey that was a pretty decent game that's what you want to like strive for in the vickers and pretty ideal situation with us clearing their patent quickly and having two turtless td stuck on that side that was like a pretty perfect farm simulator for me um but you'll definitely want to aim to create those scenarios where you can just kind of free farm the enemy team when they're not paying attention. Okay, so we spot the Minerato, and it looks like the enemy heavy tanks are probably gonna be headed over towards this side of the map, and we do also see the Ho-Ri has been spotted too. And I'm gonna assume the enemy team are gonna probably push through A here soon enough, because no one has been spotted on the other side of the map. So they have three TDs in their spawn, which is fine. Those TDs aren't really doing anything. I'm gonna be careful not to overextend here. Fortunately, we do have a T124. He'll be able to spot A side for us, but I will probably also spot from above, because yeah, I see trees fell down. They have to have tanks over here somewhere, right? Okay, here's our here's our first player here. It's an Amex 50B. Let's put a quick shell into him. I am going to pop the adrenaline because this 50B is eager to dump his magazine, which means free hash shells, 400 damage there onto the 50B. And 50B is um, not big braining. Most certainly is not big braining. And this dude just fell down. Okay, cool. Interesting. Start to the battle. Was not expecting that. To be honest, but hey, I'll take it. <laughs> that 50B dumb messed up big time. All right, Leo Yoloing across. Let's put a hash shell into him. 347. Very nice. Leo is um still Yoloing across. 343. Man, yeah, 340 two times in a row with hash. That's crazy. All right, another hash shot. Nope, 160. And I'm going to take a shot in return here. I <laughs> baited him. Get baited, boy. Okay, nice. All righty. Now we have an E100 and a Sheridan over here. Let's put a quick shot into the Sheridan here. I think E100 may have just fired his gun a moment ago. So I'm actually going to begin the process of pushing up a little bit more aggressively over here. Let's put another shot to the Sheridan. We managed to pull out from his line of sight there. Very nice. E100. I can't even bend because I'm running Rammer. Yay. I love that. Uh, there's the Minerato though. Let's put a quick shot into him there. Nice. I think the, uh, the E100 still has not fired yet, has he? Oh, oh, the Minerato saw me. He's like, you shall not shoot me for free. So, I guess it's time. Uh, you gonna pull forward, buddy? Not what I was thinking. Oh, he's about to get cooked by a TVP. It's Jover. I'm not farming this dude for anything. At least I'll get the assist. At least I'll get the assist, but he's dead. Holy. Okay, well, I got 1,700 assists. Let's go. Okay. Minerato is still in exist. Oh, he's de he's dead too. Wow. Yeah, I'm I'm not even gonna get there in time. He's he's just a goner. And 405 kills him. Three, two, one. Maybe I can steal it. Nope. <laughs> Maybe I should just yell the Minotauro. Uh, okay. Well, I'll take it. It's, it's, it's easy dub. 
Looks like Bobby is the true tank player. You're you're the commentator. Indeed, that that's true. She she doesn't usually make her appearance, but she she was cooking in the background. Did he got into a black hole for pushing, bro? It's autoloader syndrome. It's very easy to fall into that when you're playing something like a 50B. And the 50B is probably one of the worst offenders right now because. You want to get your full magazine off, right? Because you're doing like 1500 damage with that. But the 50B takes forever to dump all four shells. Uh, and so, yeah, giant profile, autoloader syndrome. I see too many 50Bs get deleted nowadays. <laughs> Minorato. Mino what now? It's a Minorato. That's what it is. They could, ju they could just aim. Rato. Okay, what do we got here? Let's see. Two, two meds, one VK and 50. Confines. Platoon of 40? Wow. Why is the 405 meta all of a sudden? I have not seen this many 405s in a while. Let's hope they're not running spalls so I can farm them for free. So far, nothing spotted. And that's pretty indicative of their team flanking around through the med side. So I'm going to make a bit of a rotation back here. I'm trying to decide if I want to hold spawn or push through. I've generally found holding... Sp well, I have generally found holding spawn to be more effective. Um, which I might still do here. Man, it took them... No way it took them that long to push around the corner, right? Alright. <laughs> I can't even pet him! <laughs> this, is not, this is not ideal scenario, my dudes. This is not the ideal scenario. Yoink. <laughs> Pretty quick snapshot into that man's there. I'm not trying to spawn snipe. Uh, but we, our heavies do need to get cover fire here as they're toast. But maybe it'd be more logical for me to move up and kill this 405 and 907. They are isolated. I think that's five or so tanks in encounter cap. We already have some autoloader syndrome over here right now. Put a quick shot into this dude. 50B should make him a one shot. He gets taken down very quickly there. Oh, it's another 405. Let's put an HE into him. Nice. This is, uh, this game's looking a bit jover for the enemy team. All right. And this 907 thinks he can get away with just shooting me. Ain't that adorable. All right, Mr. 907, you're getting gold by a Kampfpanzer now. What you gonna do? Is he gonna push forward? Of course he's gonna push forward. Oh my gosh, gun. Stop it. But he is pushing into the Kampfpanzer, which has far superior DPM compared to him. And I'm also gonna flank him and hopefully clear him with an HE shell here. There we go. Very nice. Alrighty. Uh, we will lose our VK probably. I know VK's already gone, our 60 TP as well. So I'm gonna work on the flank here. But that wasn't too bad. Fortunately, uh, the 405 mega overextended. So he just left the 907 as a free kill in that short period of time. And since the enemy Kampf Panzer was just wandering in Narnia. Oh, come on. How does that miss? That was like his whole, his whole, his whole rear. There we go. Put a quick shell into this Yag Tiger here who is getting clipped by the 50B. W. All right. Another shot into him there. Yeah, I, I, you just have to play very... Um, very sneaky in the Vickers right now in order to perform well in it. We do have three kills so far, so that's a good news. The VK is pushing up. The 50 TP is pushing up. The Kampfpanzer is back here, and I have a... I do have an AMX 50B for... 50 TP got eradicated uh, by the 405 there. Honestly, was not really expecting that, but hello, Kampfpanzer. Now, the Kampfpanzer got me on DPM, but the Kampfpanzer are also going to be toast if he decides to take the brawl here, because I do have a lot of cover fire. I'm just going to back up so the VK-72 doesn't destroy me here, and we'll just use our DPM here to kind of farm this KPZ out just a little bit. Oh, uh, he's he's already dead. All right, let's see what type of heat alpha we're pa- <laughs> Gosh, my teammates were really good. What was that? <laughs> <laughs> Not even close. Our 50B was cooking. He probably farmed like 3,500. <laughs> That's a guess. Wow. Perfect. Right on. That 50B had a good game. Like, how am I supposed to outfarm him? I can't even bet anything. This is so painful. But I, I, I do not see calibrated shells. Um, I mean, maybe it'll help a little bit, but... I, I think I have to rely purely on his DPM in order to do well in this tank. You just gotta play like a rat to do his <laughs> fatness internal monologue. Basically, yes. Not as rat as bat chats, though. Bat chats are the real rats. Nasty little critters. Yes, is your neck crew after playing in that position? I'm my iPad on the stand. It's it's not too bad. It's it's tilted forward a bit, but I have a strong neck. It's cool. <laughs> I also sleep with my head like flat to counter stretch it out. <laughs> Practically don't even have a pillow. All right. 
How did he guess that? Um, well, I was basically shooting the same targets as the 50B, and I guess in internally I was able to kind of figure it out. So, yeah, that's that's how I did it, guys. That's that. Oh, Bobby's scratching her post now. I was like, what the bobber's doing? Oh, my. We're getting shot. Oh, my goodness. We got the ricochet from the cron. Nope. 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 We ain't poking you, sir. You can do your thing. I promise you, I have no desire to poke you while you're looking at me. <laughs> STB with its superior gun depression, though, is kind of cooking. Thank heavens I have an STB here. Kron has fired once. Let's load up an AP shell for the corner of his turret. There we go. Nice little sneaky shot into him there. Did he fire a third time? He's thinking about it. All right, he fired a third time. I'm going to start pressuring him while he's on low reload and has very little to no cover fire. So another shot into the Kron here. And I'm safe from the grill, given the grill's positioning. Let's put another shot into the Kron. Nice. And uh, hold on or not, this Kron has basically no support here. So RIP to Mr. Kronwagen. I uh, I know the pain of trying to help hold the hill and your teammates are just not there. I should be unspotted now because he got unspotted there. Which leaves me free to pretty much just take the hill here. Oh, we find the Kampfpanzer, who is uh, apparently... A How did our STB not spot him or get spotted in return? That's crazy. All right, fifth AMX M4. Oof, he just lost. A lot of hit points. That's all I can say. He lost a lot of HP. There we go. See, that's rammer cooking. That's why I'm running rammer. So I can get those extra shots off here and there. Okay. What? No, my damage farm. Wh why? Buddy just got full HP racked. Okay, you know what? We're going full damage farm simulator here. Hello. Okay, okay. Are, are we... Okay, that's, that's not good. That's not good. Okay. Yo, STB. Some help would be awfully helpful right now. Um, okay. Wow. Thanks, STB. Appreciate it. And our prog is... What is this? Why do we have a prog and a... E Why do we have a prog and a E100 wandering in a ditch right now? The STB just was, like, completely blind to the Kronvog and pushed it back up over the hill. I was gonna... I was gonna try and rotate around. <laughs> but the crown had already pushed up the hill by the time he did that. I thought the crown would still be like sitting back more towards their spawn after he got wrecked. But dude actually climbed the hill for free. Anyways, we do win this, but like... Oh boy. I don't know. We're winning this, but like... I, I guess the Amorak worked, but my teammates were not even all that great here. Like, we have two Andys sitting in a in a river right now. And somehow we're winning this. Okay, it's because the conf... Oh, it's because the conf fencers AFK. I forgot about that. Ay, ay, ay. Not what I was expecting. Well, I didn't think the Kron would be silly enough to YOLO up the hill on 500 hit points. Like, what a, what a silly little Kronwagen, dude. <laughs> it worked out in his favor because our STB had absolutely no desire to just turn and shoot him once. Thank you very much, STB. Is the average Vickers experience? Yeah. Yeah, I guess I guess I overextended there. I thought the Kron would be at the base of the hill. So my intention there was to kind of pull up into a position where I could figure out where the crown was and then use that rock as cover from the grill. But the ones who won also rotated all the way back into their spawn. I wasn't really expecting that. thought he would still be at the lighthouse. So, I'll... yeah, I guess a bunch of silly plays everywhere. Sometimes you can't predict stupid, right? <laughs> you can't predict it. <laughs> if I was a 500 hit point crown, I wouldn't be yoloing up a hill with two tier 10 meds lights on it, personally. Unless they were like both one shots, maybe you could get away with that, but we weren't. Return to Vickers to his former glory. I agree, the Vickers definitely needs a buff somewhere. I don't, I don't care where. Give it its turret armor back. Give it view range back. Give it like, okay, maybe um, slightly better. Like, give it three ten alpha or something, and keep the reload the same. Like, even these small changes make a huge difference because you can see just how bad three hundred flat alpha rolls pretty consistently. It's okay when you're um. <laughs> the Vickers armor profile is actually good when you're fighting it with another Vickers. Let's go. All right, 200 LTs over here. My whole team is headed this way, so I think we'll get ready to start pressuring this 200 LT and enemy Vickers light here. Maybe. Maybe. Let's see. Okay, there's the Gorilla 15. Was not expecting there to be a whole region yellowing in here, so I'm going to back up into safety. There we go. We are safe. All right, that Hori is making a very silly play, so I'm just going to back up into safety here. Hopefully, we can get through here without taking the shot from the 200 LT. We should shoot at my mans there. Very good. 
Yeah, let's put a quick shot into their Vickers as well. I'm going to rotate back for this Kampfpanzer, Ho Ri, and tanks like that. Because they are kind of overextended on our 2 and 5B here. This is a much easier fight for me to take. Rather than sitting in like a Rat Hall Down Fest game, I can just push on up over here. Help clear out the Kampfpanzer. Help clear out the KPZ. These types of vehicles. That's the plan here. I'm going to pick up a clear on this dude. Apparently our 2 and 5B decided it just was not worth killing him. Which was a bit unfortunate. But Alright, now this fight is not looking so hot for me. So I'm going to have to back up from here before I get YOLO'd by everyone who are... They're definitely thinking about it, so... Okay, TI2 had to get himself yeeted there, didn't he? Oh boy, I'm going to get... The Hori is going to nuke me, the TI2 is going to nuke me, it is what it is. I'll just take it at this point. I'll just take it and do a little bit of wiggling so I can try and avoid getting HE'd at, le as, at least. But, okay, thank you, E75, that's, that's great. Really appreciate that. Okay, so my teammates... Killed the Vickers at last, at least. They finally done did something. All right, we managed to rotate out of there. Didn't expect their whole team to be kind of YOLOing through that side, so maybe I overextended just slightly there, but it's okay. It worked out now because I'm in a decent position for the time being at the moment. Okay. So, what do we got here? Wild Hori is kind of YOLOing in here. Let's aim a shot for his lower plate. Of course, the gun doesn't hit it because, uh, yeah, I guess why not? There is the T100LT, who is thinking of poking me, so I'll put a quick shot onto him there. How's our E75 doing? He's not doing too well, but it's okay. I just have to watch out for any nasty crossfires here. Or actually, can I just push the KPZ? No, not KPZ. Um, this dude, but I wanted to push the TI2. Apparently, he's running the, the stock gun. I didn't know... And this accuracy maybe could use a buff as well, Wargaming. Wargaming, you could buff the accuracy as well. Please do it. Please. I beg you. <laughs> There's no way these shots should ever be missing. Oh my gosh. The T1LT almost out-reloads me. And the T1LT starts 3 to alpha. Oh, almost. Okay, I'll take it. <laughs> we managed to get the dub. Nice little rotations there, though, at least. Managed to rotate in. I wanted to opportune 5B out, but then I was getting counter pushed by like, wow, 3500s and ace in this tank. That's that's how poor it's doing right now. No one's playing it. No one's playing it. And to be honest, I can't really blame them. I mean, as these games have shown you, yeah, I'm doing okay. But... <laughs> <laughs> It, it, it's like, uh, yeah. It just could be a lot better. It doesn't need to be OP. It just needs to be a little bit more competitive. That's my take on it, at least. Hey, Lewis, good to have you. Thanks for dropping by. At least tunneling red team. Yeah, definitely at least tunneling, dude. The TI2 rotated all the way in. The whole retried initially. Grill was kind of looking for me. Fortunately, he wasn't fast off of the reaction time. I was actually kind of lucky to get out of there live, to be honest. I didn't think their whole team was just going to rotate in for 1, 2, and 5B, but uh, there you have it. They done did it. All right, there's a Sheridan. Yeah, come on, man. If I'm not going to have any armor really anymore, at least allow me to hit those snapshots, right? There we go. For 282 damage. I love risking it for zero damage, basically. Oh, look at that grill tunnel. Buddy is waiting for his opportunity, but he, yeah, I didn't give it to him. Hmm. TBT4 might pull on up through here. Let's put a quick shot on to him. Nice. The STB is already getting nuked somehow. Not really sure how that happens. But uh, it did. That's all that matters. All right, where's that 183? Really? <laughs> is that really a Kampf Panzer hiding in the back of Narnia? All right. Well, this game is just kind of a, a funny one, really, at this point. I wonder if I could just rotate out and get, like, a better farm somewhere. Okay, 54 is not really here anymore. Not really, because my teammates aren't being super aggressive on any side here. The enemy team is playing super passively, though. Like, crazy passive. I wasn't expecting them to be this passive, to be honest. All right, there's the 57. Ooh, 375. Nice little max roll there. You'd love to see it. Okay. Is their team going to move at all? <laughs> what is happening this game? Like, I genuinely am not sure. I think I'm just going to rotate. Oh, actually, maybe it's not rotating, actually, just yet. Oh, the 57 is going to be a tunnel vision, Andy. Let's go. Track shot. Yeah, you clip that for You clip that hoo my mans. Yeah, that's right. Get tracked again. That's right. Oh, no. He has another repair kit. That's so sad. Get tracked again. 
<laughs> oh man, Arhuri, uh, Arhuri did not have a very pleasant time up there, that's for sure. Fortunately though, we can start pressuring this 1A3 slash Kampfpanzer, I think, here in a moment. Our 54 is really hesitant to move up here at the moment. Which, like, it is what it is. But he wants to play passive, he sure can. Ooh-wee! Nope, not today, 1A3. Not today, buddy. As a matter of fact, hello, Kampfpanzer. Put a quick shell to the Kampfpanzer here. We can back back into cover. Uh, the grill is just yoloing in now, I guess. So, I'm just keeping an eye on the 183's position, really. Alright, Kampfpanzer gets taken down. Hello, Mr. Grill. Would you like to poke on me? And give me some lovely damages? I would really appreciate it. Alright, Ichi. Oh, he has a spall. And we'll just back back up from that 183. You see how it is? This is how it, this is how it be, man. This is how it be. Well, this game's over already, so... I'm gonna be a Chad. And take the 1v1 against the 1A3 here. Come on, shoot at me with AP. I'm not going to give you a head shot. Didn't give him a free head shot there, so we can just push on him for the clear here. I forgot that the 1A3 now has that, apparently. Like, where you can hit his tracks and still do, like, zero damage. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, hit him once more, one more time, dude. There we go. Now, now we're talking. Oh! Oh! Uh, $50 from Agent 47. He high rolled the, the AP. Light <laughs> the Rat Tank. Thank you very much, Agent 47. $50. I really do appreciate that. Thank you. Uh, I got messed up there. I, I legitimately got distracted by the donation. <laughs> I looked up for a moment when I heard it. And I, yeah, that was kind of a yikes. But I do appreciate it. Thank you. <laughs> I literally got distracted. Oh, so silly of me. We should still win this with the 57 yelling. Yeah, I literally threw there by getting distracted. Oh my gosh, don't tell me. He's on one hit point, don't ram him. Kill the Sheridan first, 57's on 20 second. No way, dude, he died to the 57. Uh, yeah, okay, don't get distracted when you see stuff. I, I, see, from my point of view, I just see this huge pink, boom, chat pop up on the screen, and I glanced up there. I didn't think the 183 was going to push me for a moment, so I got distracted because I, I, I took a little peek at it. That timing was very unfortunate, literally through that game. 3600, I did okay there. Um, I thought the 628 was pushing in with me as well. I guess the 628 got distracted instead of killing the 183 that was on reload, so. Very, very saucy indeed. Lovely! I wouldn't have died there if my track shot hadn't done zero, but when Wargaming gave the 183 PBR, if you hit the drive wheel, like from a semi-side angle... <laughs> Baited. <laughs> Two dollars from Agent Meanie. 47. That's Long so baited. mean, man. That's so mean. F 400 IQ carry by the 183. Oh, no, no, no. The, the 183 didn't outplay me. I outplayed myself. Actually, no. I got outplayed by Agent 47. Bro, he's literally an agent. He's literally an agent for the enemy team. Buddy was just waiting. He knows the stream delay. He's like watching someone Discord stream their match. He's like, I'm gonna send a, a, a dono like uh, 30 seconds from now. It's gonna distract HRF. I knew it. I knew it. It's all a scheme. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm uh, that was just silly of me. No, no other way of explaining it. Silly me. Hmm, good track shot there at least. Tracking shot W's so we can get another shot into this dude. Another track shot, as a matter of fact. Okay. And let's see, what can I do now? So they're they're bound to have quite a few just uh tank destroyers in the back. So I want to be careful not to overextend here. Conf Panzer did just shoot at me. Um I'm gonna push up to the second hill. Actually, E5 in town. I think there's a decent probability that they don't have too many tanks back here. And we can actually low-key kind of start pressuring them. It depends on if the 54 is here or not. I'm being quite aggressive at the moment. Um, hello, 54. Let me put a quick shout into you. $2 now, this 54 is definitely... I'm so sorry, I'm thinking. MFAO. I had to. <laughs> sorry, I had to. <laughs> Thank you very much, Agent. <laughs> no, it's funny. It was funny. Oh, well, very silly of me to get distracted there for a moment and literally throw the game. It's, it's no one's fault but mine, because I'm a, I'm a silly man, that's why. All right, let's continue the pressure here. Kampfpanzer is thinking of pushing me, but he's making a massive mistake here and then gets taken out. And yeah, we can be nice and aggressive here. No spall? He does have a spall, which might negate any advantage I would get from shooting high explosive at him. Let's just do AP. It's probably safer that way. And then back around this corner here. 
Very nice. Do another AP shell there. And we're casually farming up to our heart's content. Don't you just love this tank's high DPM and alpha damage? Hey, Bobby. What, what's, what's the Bobber doing? Bobby's been very active on stream today. Like, very, very active. Okay, I've already done 2.6k. That's good. Oh, it's my nemesis, the 183. I can't even pen a 183 hardly. <laughs> ah, this is memes. Like, look how much red there is on that tank's turret. That's crazy. All right, 183. Oh, did he just shoot? I believe he done he done just shot his gun. Oh wee, we can start hashing him too. And he has no spot liner. <laughs> yeah, boy. Give me that HE. Oh, 447, the high rolls too. Let's go. At max roll maybe? Nope, but 390. <laughs> this is so pathetic. These would all be like, except for the 447 roll, these would all be low rolls in the old Vickers. Like no cap. These would all be low rolls. But, uh, you know how it is. Okay, dude, 7-0. These sweep games. Mm, I'm looking forward to when... <laughs> when Ash Breaker gets reverted back, I'll probably play my main account. Because <sighs> these games are a little too one-sided. <laughs> Copy. <laughs> Lol. <laughs> 4 points CK damage. Another ace. Bro, this tank is so easy to ace. One thing I will say is if you are really tight on credits and uh, there's no good game modes, like gravity is a terrible game mode for grinding credits, right? Go find yourself a tank that's easy to ace that you can play somewhat well in. And ace it and get 100,000 credits profit every game. It's actually the strat. That's so how I got my main account to 1.4 billion credits, by the way. It's purely through aces. I haven't credit ground on that account since like 2018. Um, but you just get so many ace tanker badges nowadays. It just made my economy go crazy. Hey, Fantas, how's it going? Oh, pretty good. Other than me botting uh, here and there. Doing all right, all things considered. Fast, when will you stream the batch chat for, before Wargaming eventually nerf it? Funnily you say that. I actually have a batch chat uh, stream planned already, but it's a rat chat. Like, what What am I supposed to, like, uh, oh my gosh, guys. Let me play this broken tier 10 light tank and show you how good it is. I, I'm going to play with the four shot because it sounds a lot more interesting that way. I know it's technically the trashier gun, but I think it would just make a funnier stream. A more interesting stream if I can do well with the four shot, at least. Uh, because that tank is just... Yeah, the bad shot definitely is a little too good in its current state. This dude's lost, I think. One for the nice early spots. Very good, very good. You gonna back out at all, buddy? I'm keeping an eye on the minimap, and I do have a lot of tanks that'll spot the ally alleyway on my right side, so I shouldn't get pushed on here. This dude's overextended a little bit. Cash shells are just not going where I want them, man. Come on. Yoink. <laughs> okay, this dude's gonna... I gotta be careful for crossfires from above. So, I am going to pull down a bit. We still have to watch out for the tank destroyers as well. I'm gonna wait for my camo to reset and then actually start pressuring this Vickers here. Ever... Well, not Vickers. This T92 here ever so slightly. Because he could have some TDs behind him still, but he's still in a pretty poor position, all things considered. Let's put it quick. Is this tank just not he anymore? Like, what? Okay, we gotta watch out for the TDs. Speaking of which, there's the grill. Grill got baited. I did pop the adrenaline so we can hit a second shot onto him. Oof. See, that's where that short reload is like Loki kind of... You don't see me. Yeah, I get tracked, buddy. Get tracked. Dude, these 183s. These 183s are actually menaces to society. Like, straight up. They are little menaces to society. They have been like... Trying to shoot me left, right, and center here. Let's track him again. I don't know if he has any more repair kits. And he doesn't have enough gun depression to shoot me here. So, retrack. Nice, it's over for him. It is over for him. It is so over for this 183 here. Tracked again. Still don't think he has enough gun depression to shoot me. He gets taken down, W. All right, let's see. TL7120. I think that's spaced armor on the turret, but I can hash his lower plate. You know, this tank used to have 550 max roll on the hash shells. And now it's, now it's 475. Can this accuracy, like, just work? That's all I ask. Thank you. It's already over. It's already over! <sighs> ah, not gonna lie, I got a little scared when that 183 popped around the corner. I saw him and I was just like, no. Like, they lost? Dude, their grill got lit up. I don't know what our teammates were doing, but our teammates just annihilated that grill of 15 when I spotted him. I think it was because I tracked him there and he was stuck in a bad position for a moment. Oh no, it's a Minerato. Let me get away from you, good sir. <laughs> we ain't doing with no Minerato's today. Actually, I'll trade a shot with you, sir. Just so I can pick up the clip. Wow, that's a very interesting super bonk. No, I had another max with the HE. And I fluffed it. Okay, okay. Okay, okay, okay. Let's go. Okay. 
Nice. Give me that damage, boy. <laughs> we we are on the damage farm fest here. Yoink. Ooh, D100 shot heat at me. Must be because he can't pen my insane armor profile. This should be another ace, by the way. With the spotting damage. <laughs> Piece of cake. <laughs> what do you think of Burr? But can but uh can bully a batcha at least? Yeah, that's true. That's true. But then the batcha just like does 2,000 damage to the 1e3. <laughs> Because of its double magazine and a short magazine reload time, all things considered. Um, I'll take that. Hi, Fatness. Hi to people in the chat. Hello. I, unfortunately, I assume, I believe that's Greek. I cannot read Greek. But, uh, hello. Um, do you, <clears throat> I do have enough credits to, uh, but Vickers, but I, to buy Vickers, but I don't, uh, if I good or not. I would say maybe hold off on purchasing it right now. And let's see if Wargaming buffs it. Or if you want to purchase it preemptively, I just probably wouldn't really recommend playing it too much, to be honest. Um, it's fine. And it's kind of like one of those guilty pleasure things for me. Th I, this is the same kind of category of vehicle as the WZ-132-1. Although, I low-key think the wz 132 is like actually better. <laughs> um, but it's like in that same category. It's like they're not the, really the best, but they're they're just a, they're kind of fun to play sometimes, and that's what I really enjoy about this tank. So that's why I continue to play. Four dollars and ninety nine cents from now. Thank you, now Clive, for the, the donation. Gameplay considerations what are the actual gameplay considerations regarding Alpha versus, versus reload time? time? Assuming the same assuming DPM. Assuming the same DPM. What are the actual gameplay considerations considering Alpha versus DPM? Assuming the same DPM. Oh, it's kind of hard because sometimes that DPM is really nice for perma tracking and stuff like that. But sometimes it's also really nice to have a little bit more alpha in order to guarantee those kill shots and stuff. Like the old Vickers was in a really prime position with its 350 alpha and its high DPM. I got to pull back here because the 75 is crossing. If you're wondering why I made that crossing there. It's because I saw the 75 pushing in for me. And um, yeah, he's still being quite aggressive. Fortunately for me, I should get some shots on him soon. Yeah, I do have basically my whole team here. Uh, I like there. I like there to be a nice, a nice balance. Sometimes it's easier to play tanks that have higher alpha because you don't have to poke as often to deal that damage. But you can see right now, it's kind of nice to be in the Vickers because I can just casually perma track to C75 here, right? And this is why I'm running Rammer, right? He had to use his uh, his extra repair kit. I don't know if his repair kit wasn't spawned in initially, but it took him a long time to use his repair kit there, and um. Allowed me to get 900 or so damage into his vehicle. So that's that's where that kind of just raw DPM power is really nice. You know, if I was in a Sheridan, I probably would have done more damage with two shots. But would I have had the same opportunity there with the perma tracking and everything? Probably not. Anyways, I think the C75 basically just gave up on life. So, farewell E75. It was nice knowing you, laddie. Um, never mind. Our Kron is reloading his magazine. What an absolute unit. All right, there's the Yag. Yag just fired. Let's pull back down a little bit here so the M60 can poke on me for free. Oh my gosh! <laughs> Agent 47 with the 50 gifted members. Holy smokes. Thank you very much, Agent 47. If you did receive a membership from Agent 47, make sure to send your thanks in the chat. Agent 47 absolutely cooking here. I, I, I had to do a double take there. I didn't, I thought it was maybe five, but no, I saw the zero afterwards. It was like, no way. Dang, thank you very much, Agent 47. Do appreciate that. <laughs> Holy smokes. All right, T95, not today. Not today, T95. Not today. All right. Well, maybe today. Maybe today. Just not right now. I got to perma track you. All righty. Lovely stuff, Mr. TI5. Thank you very much for contributing to the HRF damage fund. Oh, yeah, turn sideways to a TVP. Yes, 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 yes. That's the play. <laughs> Buddy is like, this darn Vickers light over here is uh, he's done ruining my day. Oh, 375. Love them high HE rolls. Full send. Full send. Oop, high explosive on the AMRAC. Ah! I got baited. Where my 5k damage at? One more, one more HE shot. One more HE shot. Come on, come on, come on, come on. 312? Let me ram them at least. No! <laughs> uh, aye, aye, aye. If you did receive a membership from Agent 47, definitely make sure to send a thank you in chat as there are now 50 new members for the channel. So, uh, thank you very much, Agent 47. Really appreciate that. 5k ace. That, look how many credits we're accumulating there, dude. Like 159,000 on a 5k game. It is kind of nice. That's why I low-key like these, these tanks that you don't play very often. Oh my goodness. 
<laughs> Yo, Fanny's, will you consider playing World of Tanks with one of the best will be player streamers, Cricky Baby? And if you do, uh, will you stream it? Uh, no, I probably wouldn't play with Cricky Baby, to be honest. Uh, there are somewhat PC stream uh, content creators I respect. I do like skill. Actually, I took a lot of inspiration from him when I first started doing live streams and stuff like that and videos. Uh, it was Skill and Lemming Rush that I was watching some, some semi regularly back in the day. Lemming Rush doesn't make content anymore, but I was an acquaintance of his. And so he was always cool. And Skill was just such a funny dude. Like, very amusing commentary. Lovely person. Uh, if I could, uh, if I could, maybe I'd consider playing with them, but they wouldn't want to play with a certified bot. Like, I swear, I never play PC video games. My KBM skills are non existent. Like, I would be the worst. I would genuinely be the worst. Okay, back to the Vicar's Light. Um, let's see. Hmm. I am waiting to see if anyone else gets spotted over here. There's the Leopard. They could have a bunch of tanks in the back, which is the only reason I'm going to be a little bit more cautious here. Case in point, we have a Wild Object 704 here. Thank you for the 300 damage there, good sir. The 704 has confirmed his demise at this point, basically. There we go. Leo is also a goner. The Minerazzo is yoloing forward here. And it looks like they have a PTA back there. I should have pushed forward because I honestly could have farmed him. It's too late for that now. Maybe I can get one shot into him. Not quite able to. Oh, well. Tease what you tease. Although, actually, we still might be able to get some shots into this dude. Low key. I don't even mind trading some damage here. Hello. Well, I didn't want to trade a fire, though. Was not willing to try to fire extinguisher. This game's already over. This game is already over. <laughs> My teammates are cooking in town. We already annihilated two of their tank destroyers here. The VK-72 is overextended, and he has just lost about 90% of his HP. He's dead. Wow. There's two remaining. Get the last ones. 15 under damage. 5-2. A minute and 45 seconds in. That's crazy. I'm actually going to do... Maybe sub 2k damage here this game if I'm not careful. Wow, Grill high rolled me with HE. I actually might do sub 2k now, Loki. Nope. Uh, no one killed the Grill? Dude, that WZ120 had a full shot. Why didn't he? Buddy. I mean, I, I know I should have killed him, but I thought the WZ was going to kill him like the moment I would have shot. So I'm like, you know what? I'll just go for the, uh, the, the lower H, uh, the, uh, the TNH there. Very fast game. Wow, I, I love this. 422 hash gun or current gun on Vickers. Thank you very much, Nakai, for the donation. Um current gun on Vickers. Call me crazy. Uh, but I actually somewhat like the current Vickers gun. The only things I really dislike about it is the really low alpha makes it very unreliable for picking up clears. And it's somewhat lower GPM. But I would take the Vickers accuracy, which isn't even top notch, by the way, over the current 4202's accuracy. The current 4202's hash gun, it just low key kind of sucks. The tank was super good before Wargaming decided to give it a a uh, decent turret armor buff, but they also nuked its gun handling in in, uh, in return, and I was just not happy with that one bit because I loved the light tank version of the 4202. Right, it had no. It had um, really no armor, but it was really good in terms of its gun. And this dude is just dead. Excited for daily streams. Great entertainment while I'm working. Cheers, Drew uh, Schling Schlingen. Schlingen? I believe it's Schlingen. Thank you very much for the donation. Really do appreciate that. And glad I could provide a little bit of entertainment while I play this suspect game. <laughs> All right. Your donations, not notifications are not going to go through while I'm still receiving a million uh, new member notifications. Ooh -wee. See, like the 422's gun handling, it, it, it actually makes me mauled like crazy, not going to lie. And I, that's one of the reasons I just really despise 422 currently. It's gun is just so bad. Um, hello. Ooh, we, we are, uh, we are doing some big brainery over here. See, like this gun actually kind of works. Yeah, maybe not, maybe not on the best platform, and there's definitely some massive faults. I gotta recap C, as my teammates are. Wow, I was not expecting that. Good stuff, dude. 230! 230! That's how much damage this thing does with heat. 224! I'm literally a 90 millimeter right now, dude. I'm literally a 90 millimeter. 
it would take me 10 years to kill a mouse with heat at this rate. Like, holy smokes. 224, 230. <laughs> I can't even. What even, what even is the heat alpha on this tank right now? It, it, it can't be higher than like... Okay, well, that just didn't go where I wanted it. It can't be higher than like 250, right? In terms of heat alpha, I'm assuming. I actually haven't checked that. I need to go verify its heat alpha damage. All right, let's go find ourselves a 268 to farm, hopefully. If no 268, no problem. We farm mouse instead with our slowly, <laughs> with our 270 millimeters of heat pen. Heck yeah, man. Oh, 285. Let's go. We're cooking. Yo, we baited the mouse too. We are cooking even more. Okay, you know what? I'm wasting my time on this mouse. I can flank the 268 here for free, basically. This should be a much smarter play for me. Get a head shot into him, at least. I don't know if, if the mill will pick him up. The mill does indeed pick him up. Hello, Mr. Mouse. Oh, hello, I7. Don't mind if I do. Oh, it's a rat 752. Not today, laddie. Not today, my dude. Oh, 275 on the kill shot. Let's go. Low rolls galore are cooking. 292. I7's not paying attention to me, so I can pull to the mouse's side here. Pick up a clear on him. And we're good. We win. The team went town. This should be another ace. <laughs> By the way, we have 50, 50 mem new member notifications to get through. Uh, so if you're, <laughs> if you're wondering why your super chat maybe isn't showing up on the uh, stream notification, like on my screen, it's it's because I got to get through those first. Uh, 4,500 damage dealt. Another 86,000 credits profit because I was shooting so much heat. Oh, I love that alpha. <laughs> 225, man. It's literally a 90 millimeter in tier 10. His stream notifications will never stop. Agent 47, you are trolling. Miyamoto Musashi. And wishing type 5 heavy comes to blitz? Ah, uh, I don't. Because <laughs> I don't like heavies. I like mediums. I like lights. I like fast mobile tanks with good guns. But you know what? It's Japanese, so I support. Type 5. Why, why don't they just make a, a Girls and Panzer type 5 heavy collab on blitz? I would... That would be memes. Like, just imagine. <laughs> Massive type 5 heavy. All right. Ooh, early spots. I love this position for that. And 50B does not have the best view range apparently, so uh, he did not manage to spot me up there. They do have tanks on A already. I'm going to keep spotting up a little bit here. There's the TL7-120, and my teammates are kind of all going town side here. I don't want to stick here for too long. Let's put another shot towards this dude, and immediately I'm going to start pulling down into cover because uh, it's only a matter of time before they start popping up behind me. Ooh, but the 50B has overextended slightly. Let's put a quick shot onto him there. I should be spotted now, so i got to be a little bit more careful here. Oh, I am definitely spotted now by a Kampfpanzer. So I'm going to run away a little bit into cover. Then I'm going to get into town here. I really don't want to just... I don't want to be bothered dealing with these dudes back here. Well, this is not good for your boy. Oh, this is so not good for your boy. Wow, okay. So their meds are just being super aggro right off the bat. Wasn't really expecting that. But the one to ones got cooked already. And, um... Oh! Get racked. Get ammo racked, buddy. Get ammo racked. And get, 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 get outplayed, Kampfpanzer. Get outplayed. Come on, let's do it again. Let's do it again. I'm just waiting for this Karo to start pushing up on me. If I could run away from here, I totally would. But I can't. So I gotta keep moving back and forth. Back and forth. Back and forth. Back and forth. And... Ooh, enchanté, Caro. Very nice. Good stuff, dude. Oh my gosh, I'm getting yelled by an E6 now. No way. Is he, is he v lining for me and only me? You know, I low-key kind of respect the commitment to the YOLO here. Okay. And now's my opportunity to get away, maybe. I'm gonna take it. Yep. W. I had a feeling that Caro probably rotate around somewhere else. So I actually managed to escape. I just had to wait for the right moment. I need to wait for the comp bands or the drop. And we're good now. All right, well, that definitely wasn't going as planned, but we're cooking now. We've actually done okay amount of damage thanks to that ammo rack. And I can start pressuring the enemy spawn a little bit more here. Maybe to get some farm on the CC. Um, and stuff like that. Without overextending, I'm going to redline this. I don't want the Karo to pop up in Narnia and just one clip me. So I do have to be somewhat cautious with this play here. Because he could spot me very, very easily if I'm not careful. Mm hmm. Okay, there's the Karo. There's the other dude. The, if I remember correctly, the CC does have. Oh, that's why I didn't spot him. He does have about 
450 alpha. Just enough to one-tap me here. However, we did catch him out in the open. He just, he's about to dump his reserve shell, isn't he? Yep, he just dumped his reserve shell. He's about to get nuked by this dude, and I can pick up the player. W. Very, very big W indeed. Uh, we still have an E6 over here, who we might be able to heat pen from back here for a nice little max roll. Lovely. We actually managed to recover this game. I'm pretty impressed. We got about 3.6, 3.7k damage out of it. So spotting mid, honestly, not super wise of me to rotate back through spawn like that, but I didn't think the Kara would be already in our spawn, and I definitely didn't expect the one-to-one -one to be there. I thought it was just the comp fence. I'm like, I'll take a shot. It'll be good. I can get out for free, basically. Probably an ace again. Yeah. Um, but that wasn't really the case because the Kara was already deep in our spawn, so I had to play very risky there. But it actually worked out in my favor, and, um, oh, it's a stuffed dog. No, what, what, what's, what's, the, what's the matter, brother? What's the matter? Oh, what's the matter? It's okay. I will give you the strength. You have this, man. You have the strength to get that dub one day. All right. Oof, one, two, yeah, we're back on a roll. <laughs> on a roll. Ooh, yeah, right? Yo, it's, it's, uh, Burger King back. <laughs> what? What? I, I don't understand, Burger King. Huh? <laughs> Come on, Fatness, roll it up. I gotta do what I can. This used to be my favorite tank. How they messed with my boy. Oh yeah, it was one of my favorite tanks too. Like I was, um, I played the Vickers in comp a lot. Back, back in my comp days when it was really strong. Ooh, Arino Charonte. Hey guys, it's a test tank. You know what that means. At some point on this stream, I'm gonna have to YOLO it and look at a timer profile because I'm not playing a test tank, you know. Ran into him in a public game. I can totally take a little peek at the vehicle. We can see the armor profile. Maybe, uh, learn a thing or two about the Arino Charonte. Who knows? Who knows? I'm still gonna focus on cooking in the bat chat, but if that dude's like last dude alive, my team's gonna win, I might just yellow just yeah, just to see it. I'm gonna be that player that I always hate to face. The little rat that yolos and gets himself killed. <laughs> maybe not, maybe not. I'm just I'm just kidding, guys. Let's go spot the TD position first. There's a wild Yak Panzer. Let's put a quick shell into him and immediately pull back and immediately put this building between me and the entrance of Hill. That will mostly keep me secure from getting shot right off the bat unless they pull up there. Uh, so that's how you want to spot that position. And, okay, well, apparently they have a tank back there that has shots on me. And that that was really barely missed my weak spot there or my, my armor profile there. All right. We have a Sheridan here, and we have a rather Pepega team, because not a single one of these fools is pushing heavy tank side. So we're going to get crossfired out for basically free here, and we have absolutely no one to spot it up. Maybe it was the mouse that hit me. That was low-key good shot by the mouse. Okay. Well, at least our 268 is spotting. What a mad lad. Oh, we hit those. We totally hit those. Okay, so I think the mouse was the one that maybe sh shot at me there. Um... E50M is Loki in a bad spot, so I'm gonna put a quick shell and make him a one tap. Very good. We can see where the Yag is as well. And there is a mouse currently pushing into our spot. One dollar and ninety nine cents from Narclai. <laughs> Your donation finally came through, Narclai. W. W. It came through eventually, even if it was a bit late. All right. Nine dollars and ninety nine cents from Drushlam Gun. Excited for daily streams. Yes, Great entertainment me too. While and I that mouse working. is sending it. Cheers. Low key, it would be more logical for me to rotate back for the for the mouse here. Um, I could easily farm him. That's why. And this dude setting up a reverse side scrape. I honestly kind of respect the commitment, but he was not ready for the crossfire. Oh, hi E three. Let me not back into you there. My bad. Oh, there's the Rino Charonte. Okay, we know what the Rino Charonte is positioning. That's a big W. Already. Let's see. Do we know where the Rino Charonte is? Let's see if we can find out the Yag's positioning here. Did he spot me? No, he did not. He knows exactly where I'm gonna be. Yoink! Ah, get baited, Yag! Get baited, sa. Okay. So, you know, Vigor's upper plate armor can still cook. You know what, guys? I said I was gonna do it. Okay. I did say I was gonna do it. This dude's gonna die before I can get to him, Loki. I think, I think he's gonna die before I can even get a shot onto him. Let me see. Yeah, he's getting pushed by a 268 and a 183. Maybe he cooks there, though. Maybe he cooks there. Who knows? You know what? We're doing it. We're doing it. I might be throwing the game right now. I don't really mind. We gotta... We gotta... Oh, he just got hashed. He just got hashed. Ooh, the 268's about to nuke him. Will I at least... Oh, he just got nuked. Oh my gosh. I was too late, guys. I should not have hesitated. 
Yo, how's that rear armor profile looking? All right, buddy, turn around for turn around for me here. Whoa, was not expecting that I7 to be there. Interesting. Okay, so that's what the armor looks like. There you go. That's all I could get for you guys. He died before I could do anything else. That was the best I could do. That was the best I could do. Anyways, I can't wait to get yagged in the side while crossing here. <laughs> he tried to HE me. Thank heavens. All right. Anyways, I should have DPM to maybe kill this IS-7 here. I do need the 268 to help me out here just a little bit. Nice. Someone just tried to kill me with HE, I think, but it didn't work out for them. All right. So there's these two laddies up here now. All right, Sheridan, you're going to back up again, right? No, he's not. Oh, wow. Look at this Yag. He's really determined. But he's blind shooting HE instead of guaranteeing the next shot of damage. That's a joke. You really wanted to kill me that bad? Techno. <laughs> Techno really sat there blind firing HG instead of just pulling back and getting an actually a shot of damage before the game is over. Um, well, my yellow did not end my demise, but definitely ruined my damage farming that game. Hmm, we're gonna we're gonna do some investigation over here. We're gonna do some investigating. Okay, where is it at? Where is it at? Okay, thirty five hundred average, sixty eight percent win rate with eighty five battles. And what's this dude's highest average at a hundred games? At a hundred games. Oof. Maybe I shouldn't go by damage. Oh, it is his highest average at 100 games. Unless you count the Type 71, which is, well, yeah, Type 71 didn't get to 133. Hmm, interesting. So, judging by the performance and the fact that he is playing a skill-based matchmaker, well, so am I. Um, yeah. That's a, that's a pretty high performance there. Okay, big, big, <laughs> Jag, big, bad. Vicar's light and car are my two must play tanks. Oof, but uh, the Sheridan is my must play tank. Well, anyways, that was all the Reno Toronto uh, sneak peeks I could get to you guys. He he died before I could even get it like a good, pe a good peek on the tank there. I had to do it. I had to do it. <laughs> he didn't even shoot. I, I literally gave him time to turn around there just so I could see what the frontal armor would look like. You'll have to screenshot though, because he died a millisecond after he turned around. Oh, uh, but it looks like the tank has decent turret armor, just from that little peek that I had. Uh, the hull didn't honestly look all that great. If if a Vickers can AP pen the front of the hull, it's probably not the best. All right, let's go. If a Vickers with Rammer can AP pen the hull, I must clarify. So, what do we got here? Nice, give me that spot damage there. There is a Gorilla 15 also yoloing forward here. Was not expecting that. Okay. Um, I, my concern is no one's really covering my rear. So if they YOLO this outside lane, I could be toasty. Toasty and warm, aka dead. Um, but let's just hope that's not the case. Oh, it's the Jaegeru. What the Jaegeru doing? What the Jaeger? What the Jaegeru doing? What the Jaegeru doing? Shoot, Jaegeru. Oh, no. The Jaegeru done yellowing me. Uh, Jaegeru, this is so not cool of you, buddy. Brill, start farming him, please. Really? What is these absolute lack of traction? Oh, get, get ratted on. What are, what are these yags? L yag. L. L Jaegeru. Ay, ay, ay. What is up with these yags? Just yolo. Like, they want my vicar so badly. I don't understand. Oh my gosh, with reactive 270. Dude, these Jaegerus are like thirsting for the Vickers here. Was not expecting that. I can't pull out much more than that because of the Vickers positioning. Or, I mean, the Gorilla's pit positioning. Like, Buddy straight yoled across the map to try and shoot me. Bounced off of my mantlet. So I guess the Vickers still does have a bit of turret armor. That's a W. Um, and basically died. That was his whole game. That was the entirety of his back. Hey, yo, what the 60 TP doing? I put a quick shot to him. I actually do Loki kind of like really like the Vickers light gun. It's not perfect by any means, but it, it, it's kind of an interesting little, interesting little critter. That's how I describe it. Interesting little critter. All right, let's put a quick shot to this dude's lower plate. At close quarters, its accuracy definitely is very solid. But do, but do you see why low alpha sucks? Like, look, I, I shot the one right in his drive wheel. That didn't track him. That's the problem with these low alpha guns is they're really bad at tracking. They're good at maintaining a track once you have tracked your opponent. But in terms of like retracking, it's terrible. Um, or like, you know, tracking something that hasn't been tracked yet. It's it's pretty bad. Okay, you got more HP. Get ram killed. 
Alrighty, alrighty, alrighty. One more. Nice. Four kills there. Piece of cake. <laughs> Bro, you jet, did you see that Yag? <laughs> <laughs> that yak was, so, was so silly. Like, ain't no way, man. I mean, it. <laughs> the 50% winner in 55,000 games. It's not a noob, but maybe Stream Sniper. I don't know why anyone would YOLO that hard for me there. Um, my goodness. Vickers like, it's okay, okay. <laughs> I bet it's Tech Man. <laughs> you do have a good aneurysm on my end. Okay, well, it seems cl clear on my end. Sorry to hear that. Uh, triangle players are next level uh, atrocious this patch, are they? Main actor, obviously. Jags have beef with the Vickers, that's why. Maybe. That Jack might have been the same player. No way, dude. They had different usernames. It wasn't even the same Yag. It was just too... It, okay, here's our third Yag. Okay, now we have Terry762. I swear, if this Yag tries tunneling me too, man. Oh my. <clears throat> if this Yag tries tunneling, man. Oh boy. I don't know what I'm gonna do. Oh, that's the same enemy 140 from last game, though. But he didn't spot me. I do like the camo rating and view range on this tank. I'm just gonna try and spot up this bush here. Um, people don't usually spot it, so usually the enemy isn't pre-aiming here, but you gotta be careful all the same. That might have spotted me. Nope, this tank has insanely good view uh, camo, apparently. Another shot. Very nice. And I can't spot him, but I'm gonna try and predict where he'll be back in the front of that corner. We'll see. If I, ha if I, if I next penning shot throws, like... 800 damage, then it means I connected it. Oh, I saw a tree fall down, so there's more tanks here. And Leo's getting a little too aggressive here, in my opinion. Um, precisely. Okay, I, I did I pen it? I can't tell. Honestly, this tank has such per terrible alpha, it's hard to tell. Mm, not quite. That didn't spot me, right? No. I'm gonna wait for this 140 to maybe push the 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 leopard here, because I'm not. I haven't been spotted once so far. Let me take a peek over here. Yag still unspotted. I'm not. I'm gonna be careful until that. Yeah, I know that position of the Yag. I can help clear the 140, maybe. He's full eight points. Tan five is coming over for support. Let's see if we can spot him up at least. Okay, we do spot at the 140. All right, all right. I have faith in my gun. Hello, Mr. 140. Going. Hey, we both rolled low rolled each other there. Welcome to the club, 140. Welcome to the low alpha club. It's so hype, ain't it? Okay, there is a 30 proto back there as well. Our TI5 is yellowing in. It's a 30 win, actually. Not a 30 proto. It's a 30 win. Dude, I can't even track the 30 the 30 prototype. That's crazy. Maybe I can retrack here. Nice. Another shot to the 140 at least. Okay. I'm going to be careful because the Hori is still in the vicinity here. Um, TI5 fluffing his shot there. Very nice. Excellent work, dude. Oh, man. This Hori could be problematic, but I gotta help out on this 30 prototype here. So, quick shot to you, good sir. You're at least gonna kill him, right? Okay, thank you. Appreciate that. Alright. This 140 is being a tunneling Andy, and he's dead. Nice. Yeageru kind of still in... I don't know if he was spotted yet or not. Um... And I'm a little scared to peek this on 800 hit points. So, we're going to take it a little easy right now. Because one high roll is all it takes. <laughs> one high roll is all it takes for me to go bye-bye. There's the Minerato. There's the 57. TL7. I think the Yag's back there somewhere. He hasn't been spotted yet. Right? I'll wait for the M60 to scout up for me. Okay, there's the Hori. Who should start traversing soon, right? Hori. Gosh, the Hori is just sitting here. All right. Well, I don't know where the Yag is, to be honest. I'm a little concerned. I should definitely take it easy until I know where that Yag's positioning is. Maybe he was spot on the flank. I just didn't notice. I wasn't really paying attention too much to the minimap there because I was busy trying to deal with the uh, 1v1 here. Shout out to uh, Luigi here in the TI5. Absolute mad lad actually like pushed up the help clear med side. I respect that. Most TI5s would never. He didn't spot me, right? No, he did not. W. Vickers moment. <laughs> nice. Good clear, Waffle. Good clear. I'm still scared. Where's the Yaga? I'm scared. I don't want to get jaeger -ed. This game still has, like, potential for good farm here. We hit those. <gasps> oh, we totally hit those. Oh, we totally do. Again? Not quite. 
it's too risky to pull up any more than this, so... Yep, I'll just have to play it easy for now. This dude's dead anyways, probably. Oi, 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 what you doing, laddie? Can you give me a shot, please? And I'm taking it easy, but they still have an unspotted Yag and a full HP Minotauro. I ain't gonna risk it just yet. So. Okay, there's the Minerato. He just fired once. You know, where is that Yag even at, man? Where is he even at? Oh. Oh, W? Is, is he AFK? No, he's just sitting in Narnia. Let's go! Yeagru spotted in Narnia, my favorite. I'm gonna save my um, adrenaline to deal with some of the other piggies around here. I don't think he spotted me. Nope, he did not. Nice, let's go. It's Minaratin time! Dun 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 dun! Dun dun dun! Hello, Mr. Minotaro! Oh, I love the fact that I can't even retrack him in a Ratso here. Hey, yo. <laughs> nice. Okay, I'll take it. A bit of a sweatier game. Uh, but unfortunately, their Yag was wandering in Narnia. I thought the Yag for sure but it was rotating with the Minotaur there. That's why I didn't want to push that. Low-key, if it had 310 Alpha, maybe it would be okay. Yeah, I agree, Jen. I think, like, I low-key think the tank could cook if it uh, just didn't low-roll so much. Because, like, that's that's his biggest fault is it, it low-rolls a lot. <laughs> Fattest has Jag PTSD. Yes. Yes, dude. Like, that's two times. Like, two games in a row, I had the most rat, like, Yag experiences. I mean, they didn't really do anything to me, but they were, like, being really annoying. Um, I didn't want to do that a third time. But still, a little pretty close to 5k damage that game. I'm happy with that. I'm probably going to spot up the crossing here for now. Um, But yeah, I mean, the Vickers is still okay. It's definitely not all that great but in the right scenario with the right player you definitely can still perform in it but like you know it's like shots like that do make me question what the heck man is the, is the point of having 300 alpha if you can't even hit a snapshot like that like that and that's kind of crazy ain't it that shot went so far out of where i was aiming <laughs> that shot went so far out from when i was aiming and that was a bit of a snapshot but it wasn't too far away from the sheridan there and he was fully in my reticle okay <clears throat> Should be unspotted now. Let's do a little quick spotting run. We find ourselves a Fenric. Or Fenric. Fenric? 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 I'm not really sure how to pronounce that tank's name. Spot run. I was not expecting there to be a 57 back here so late. Oh, let's put a quick shot on them. Like 245. That's, that's insane. 245 rolls, by the way. They go crazy. Oh, their only TD has been spotted, and he's in Narnia. Let's go. Wait. Did WZ spot me or something else? Regardless, this WZ is toast if he stays there. So I'm just waiting for my camera to reset. Okay. Let's see what we can do now. Uh, maybe it was the 140 that spotted me. That probably makes sense. Oh my, I got baited. But he went from committing to the YOLO to non-committing to the YOLO. I do have to kind of watch out for some potential crossfires here. But uh, as long as the 140 isn't free farming me, I should be okay. Alright, let's see what the Hendrick's up to. They're waiting for me. I don't have the heat pen to deal with them, but it's fine. I can just rotate around a little bit here and I'm good. Good to go. And I might get another shot into him, actually. W. 280. So I wish you could just keep track of the rolls and see what it averages after a while. Just AP rolls. That'd be kind of funny. I'm dying to see what the, uh... I mean, we know it's 300 out average, but man, this tank seems a low roll a lot for 300 alpha. Oh, there we go. 324. That kind of made up for it. Nice little high roll there. Glad I rotated out. Well, trying to hold A side in general is just a, um, a terrible experience. Mm. Back up a little bit from here. All right. They have a lot of low HP targets. And we have a lot of full HP targets sitting in the back, including me. Sorry, team. Let's see if I can do anything from back here. All right, there's 57. Quick shell, 278. Here's what I might end up doing. 
is actually rotate back for the 57 and 140. Well, the 57 definitely might be worth rotating back for now. Because the Fender is a one shot. The 57 is pretty low HP now. Um, the 140 is like 800 hit points, I think. Yeah, I can probably pull this off. So let's use our mobility to actually go and help our teammates here. Because we're technically still losing this, although not really. Nice. I'm actually going to focus the 140 because he's the more annoying uh, enemy tank here. You can shoot me, that's fine. You'll just make yourself a one-shot in the process. Good stuff, Mr. 140. Now I can start rotating in a little bit for this 57 as well. Very good. I'm going to start picking up some very important clears here. HE to the roof. Good stuff. Uh, that leaves this type here with a preset shot, maybe. Okay, I was not really expecting the 140 to be sending it through here, but uh, there you go. There you have it. Hi. Hello, 140. Imagine getting outplayed by a Vickers. <laughs> yeah, boy. That's a, uh, that's a very unfortunate scenario right there. Getting gamed on by the Vickers light. Alrighty. Nice. Quick cleanup. I knew we were going to win that game. I just had to make the proper rotation there in order to uh, kind of ensure it. 350. No, 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 no. Don't, don't, don't pull forward. What are you? Yes, thank you. I need the extra shot. Let's go. Max roll. <laughs> like rolling 280s rack, bro. Yo, Jen, I, I had a, I had a earlier, I had a game where I, I think I rolled 240 and 237, something like that, like back to back. And then, wow, me and the mouse did like all of the work that game. Actually, mouse did a. Hey, yo, it's our boy Techno. Techno man for real. Hey, yo, Techno man not sitting in the back with the mouse this time. And, uh, or the share, uh, Yag this time and actually cooked up. Good job, Techno. Um. <laughs> Dang, the Vickers got so inaccurate distance nowadays. To be fair, the Vickers didn't really have the most accurate gun in the first place. Like, to be fair, it, it was never the most accurate gun <laughs> in tier 10. It, it, it does the job, but, um, you know, it actually did get its accuracy buffed, I believe, when its alpha dropped. It used to be worse than this. But back then, you were hitting for 350 and 440 or something like that with the Hesh. And so, like, you didn't have to shoot as often, so you didn't notice the accuracy um, being necessarily all that much bad. But I do remember when I was first playing the Vickers, um, I very much, like, would maul at its gun handling all the time all the time i used to be like this gun is so inaccurate oh my gosh the tank only has like an impenetrable gun magnet or gaming why are you making its gun so inaccurate <laughs> okay yeah wz light with its better camo apparently nope oh get wrecked wz light get absolutely gamed on there that is a gamer moment if I've ever seen one. Also, R54 is getting um, annihilated, disinfected. <laughs> the bacteria is getting disinfected over here. Ooh, 392 on that has shell though. I'll take it. I gotta focus the lower HP targets here uh, before they all start dive bombing on me. May as well cap A as well while I'm at it if I can. This dude had damage his Amorak, so that's a W. That's not a W. It was a two shot. Why did I waste a Hesh shell on a guaranteed two shot kill there? Silly of me. And we know the grill's positioning is 268 still in Narnia. Oh, Chad SU 152 54 uh, is yellowing and to be the bait. Appreciate that, sir. Nice. All right. I'm just going to take 4 2. It's like, I'm just going to take one for the 268, but it's 4 2. I was at 4 2 already. Oh, my. The Jaegeru doing some nasty stuff on the flank there. Holy, was not expecting him to hit that. Honestly, I didn't even realize he was on the rail, so I was not expecting him to hit it at all. Aww. Boy, the boy, little 268. He got out traverse the might of the Vickers Light. The mighty Vickers Light. Shall cook. Let him cook. Nice. All right. We're doing okay now. Let's see. 3,300 damage dealt. They still have full HP grill on E100, though. Something to be a little bit more cautious of. Ooh, wee! Not today, buddy. Not today. Not in the mood for getting cooked by an E100 just yet. Oh, come on, gun. <laughs> I know I'm shooting on the move, but, like, come on, man. It's a 300 alpha light tank gun with 
Oh, barely 30, not even 3,300 damage per minute. It should cook a little bit harder than this in terms of its accuracy. All right, the Zeager is about to annihilate this man's here. Allow me to contribute to this man's annihilation. Let's go for a fuel tank shot, maybe. Oh, not even necessary. He's dead. Very saucy indeed. All right, Mr. Brill. Thank you. Oh, SU. I'll let you traverse here. Nice. Well, W. I, I hate playing the bad chat right now. Do you? <laughs> okay, man. I swear. I, I'm not going to play my own account until the skill-based matchmaker is removed, but they, these games are a little too, too easy, to be honest. Yeah, yeah, they are a little too easy. Like, this account, it's I don't know what's up with this matchmaker, to be honest. My normal press account, um, which I can, which basically is expired now, had dog water matchmaker like on my main main account uh but this one is just weird it's weird it's like i'm just getting thrown into very average games on both sides basically for the most part uh but i'm <laughs> i'm the difference between the teams i'm a player in disguise guys i only have 180 ga uh 200 games on this account okay <laughs> but i'm not in sub 5k matchmaker as you saw we were running even against purple players here and there so it's not like a, i'm playing it purely against noobs it's just weird but it feels a little too easy if if every game was this easy i wouldn't mind like on an, on all accounts um but i don't know sometimes i feel like i'm gonna get spoiled with just the simplicity of these battles and and kind of just cooking for free at this point. Like, l l look at this silly bat chat here. Not even running a spall liner, man. Like, who, who don't who don't run a spall on their bat chat? What 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 is silly bat shot on? Silly 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 bat shot. Okay. So retrospect, I should maybe not push up here. Reason being, this yo could pose a threat to me very shortly. Oh my, who overextends that much for one shot? Is the real question I want to know. Oh my gosh, am I actually gonna get yellowed by this 140 here? Yep. Of course, he's the track shot. Get him, Yag. Get him, boys. I tracked him in the open for you. Version 4, you had one job, buddy. One job. It was shoot the Pepega yellowing Andy and the 140 that I tracked right in front of you in the open. One job. That's all our boys had to do here. Oh my gosh, and this man's just got himself destroyed for no reason. All right. Well, at least we cleared that man's out there. This game actually is a little bit closer. I like it. I like it. Now, this is what I call cookery. I'm going to wait till my camera resets. V4, don't push them. It's too risky right now. They could still have a lot of crossfires here that we're unaware of. A lot safer if you come help me out over here when he flinks around for you. But, bop. Uh-oh, I'm here. Um, okay, never mind. I am I'm not going to be enough here. Thanks to our version 4 being quite possibly the most useless ally in this scenario here. If he high rolls me, it's Jover. I might barely out reload him here. Oh, I got the max roll crew skill. Max roll crew skill for the win, dude. Anyways, I gotta get out of here. I see the 405 coming in as well. Also an M6EO over here. I just gotta get out of here, hopefully. Can I escape? Can I escape? I don't think he can spot me. I think we're okay. Nice. Ooh, my teammates are awful. How did our... Okay, this is more like the teams I'm used to getting, man. Like, how on earth did our... Um, I gotta pull back because the Yaga shots on me. Did our V4 not, like, just turn and shoot the 140? And he still got full health over there. I gotta keep running soon. I see the 405 coming in for the flank. So while my camera's reset, I gotta run here. We actually probably could lose this very easily. So I'm gonna have to cook this game, basically. If my team are gonna have a chance of winning this. I've gotta be the one to cook here. All right, all right, all right. 405 yellowing in. No spall. W. W. No spall is a W. Okay. He does see me now. But I did manage to cook him up a bit here, so that's huge. Is the yo gonna poke me here? Not really sure which way this 405 is gonna come from, to be honest. Gotta be ready to run at a moment's notice. Okay, there he is. W. Okay, so we can make the sneaky rotation out from here. Is 
700 uh, cap points on the enemy team here. Which is not good for me. The only good piece of news here is I can guarantee the two shot on this dude at least. Okay. That worked out in my favor. I'm going to act like I'm going to poke from this side here. But what I'm actually going to do is rotate back a little bit. Now, cap points are going to be a, a huge issue. Let's see if I can spot up on this hill somewhat. Cap points are the problem. I don't have the cap points here. Dang it, I could win this so easily if I had more hit points. If that version 4 just helped me out, we would have won this. This dude was tunnel vision like crazy, though. It will cost us the game, probably. I don't have the HP here to do anything. Especially not if I'm ricocheting shots like that. Oh, come on. Come on, gun. One more hat shot. One more hat shot here. It's all I request. Of course, the Yag hits that. Dude, this version 4 through. What a bot. Dude, what? <laughs> How does man's get full health up there in the time it takes me to kill the 140 that's YOLOing me? Oh my gosh. Man's just had to turn around and kill Army LA over here. Almost 6,000 damage. Also, we had a Vicar CR who didn't help us on that side. Our 30 Proto. This is more like the teams I'm used to having. There we go. That is like a typical team that I get on my main account. Actually, that's still pretty good for my main account's team standards. I'm going to be fair. At least I was able to farm that game. At least I was able to farm that game. Ay, ay, ay. <laughs> Who the heck is tagging me? Okay. Uh, don't mind me just banning this. What's his account name again? It's called Prince Robbie underscore Prince Robbie from straight being a nuisance on my discord server and I have no clue why but if you tag me while I'm streaming for some random absolutely useless thing you get banned that's how it is okay uh back to cooking where was I i7 lower plate nice 235 on the heat very nice. Hmm, what else do we got here? Dang, it's already been almost an hour and a half. I, I guess I'm actually kind of enjoying the Vickers for the for the time being. I'm really scared to push. They have two Vickers lights, by the way, in a platoon and a one to one and M60. They I, I could just smell the YOLO from here. So I'm taking it really easy at the moment because I don't want to overextend and get myself just blown up for no reason at all. That would just be really silly. But we can track the I-7 here and pull back. Very nice. And apparently the grill is already just pre-aimed there. That's cool. So they have a grill in the A corner. The Vickers has still not been spotted up yet. Our 907 did get nuked though. Loki, the Vickers lights could be coming in through our spawn still. That is a possibility. I think. The good news is this I-7 is slightly overextended here. We can load up a heat shell for him. Nice. I don't know if he spotted me there or not. Um, he did not spot me at least. Uh, the Vickers are over here now. Still, that uh, the main problem is going to be that grill, I think. That grill is still going to be a huge issue for us because of the crossfires he'll have on our team here. And the enemy team's uh, Vickers light platoon seems to be kind of cooking low-key. Got to give them credit. Alrighty. Gosh, I can't even pen this I-7 anywhere. What is this? Oh, really? The girl still has shots on me. That's crazy. And now the Vickers lights are just shooting me for free. Even more crazy. This game is not looking good for my team. Okay. Oh, both the 268 and the grill are back there. Interesting. Yeah, we're going to lose that corner pretty badly. This 113 just got himself killed, probably. Yeah, the 113's toast as well. What to do in this scenario? The enemy team did a really late push. My allies did a very poor counter push as well. How can I not climb the smallest of hills here? Ay, ay, ay. 
It's like the tiniest of little hills, man. That's crazy. Well, wow, looks like I'm finally getting some proper teams here. Or proper allies, I mean. This is what I'm used to when it comes to having players on my team. This is the gameplay I expect from them. Oh my gosh, guys. Can you at least, like, not let me get shot at for free here? He can just shoot under there and kill me soon. Unless I'm gonna get shot up the rear anyways. Yo, W, W? He's on a long reload here. Quick shot to this Vicar's light real quick. Oh, he has me on reload though. He does have me on reload. Dude, Yag, you just didn't have to miss that. What is our 62? Oh my gosh. You're telling me this dude just let the 268 drive past him? What? What is he even doing all? G oh my gosh. I knew my team was cooked, dude. The moment I saw our um, 907 and 268 just oh, mad overextend over there and get like farmed, I was just like, nah, this ain't it, chief. Because we can't see even sit on the hill because I should have gone A, low key, with that lineup, but you can't really do much when you're one Vickers and your only platoon mates are ATD and medium. Because they're they're gonna work together probably a lot better in terms of pushing, whereas your teammates are gonna be just be in Narnia, and uh, they were. Thank you for ending our suffering there. STB because of the gun depression, eh? Y'all, let's go. Looks like I'm finally getting proper skill-based matchmaker games on this account. At this rate, it's actually it's feeling a little bit more legitimate now. Let's go, soapy soapy momentum. And Franco over here, both doing zero and one shot. <laughs> then again, their i7 didn't do much better either. They're one to one cooked. They're one to one. Had a very good game, 4.7k. He's basically just free farming my teammates when they overextended there. Fun team, right? Yeah, that's two in a row, right? Kara can be the best. Oh, I gotta get like one more good game in the in the Vickers here. I have actually reached an hour and a half of gameplay, believe it or not. That went by really, really fast. It's a lot faster when I am playing in a medium or a light than a heavy. Because I'm actually moving around a lot more. <laughs> that is gets Pepega, not fun. Feels bad, man. The king and princess are both going to die. <laughs> eh? I don't even know what's happening. Actually, you're right. I feel like two people tagged me in my Discord server. Good point. Let me let me go through and see if anyone else was tagging me for no reason while I was streaming here. No. Okay. It was just one person and I banned them. Lovely. I got a different notification. That's why I got confused there. Okay. Oh, it's a Fosh. Wow. Look at that armor versus my tank. Oh, the overmatch. We have the overmatch. Okay. Not just any overmatch. I think this Fosh is by himself, personally. He could have double Yaks covering him, but I think it's kind of unlikely. I'm just gonna wait for him to start running away, maybe. I'm gonna wait till he's like, I'm kind of out of his rear range, maybe. I don't know, I'm probably in his rear range here. Yep, I am. But there's two Yaks back here, at least. Yo, we hit those? Let's go. Oh my gosh, what the STB doing? What in the what in the darn nation is that STB one up to? Ooh, all right, Mr. Fosh, thank you for the hash. 399 there. And I don't think I have any more shots here. So, I guess we can start dealing with this STB in a moment because my $2 team is probably going to get 47. wrecked in hey, town. Fatness, guess what? What's up, Agent 47? Thank you very much for the donation, by the way. Guess what? What am I guessing? <laughs> I'll, I'll try and keep keep, uh, keep pay attention to the chat. Oh wait, yeah, it's behind the wall. Silly me. Um, oh, our Yag's already cooked. That's great. Ain't that fantastic news? All right. Ooh, 420. Okay. That's like an old Vickers hash there. 433. Hey yo, the high rolls be cooking. All right, it's another clear on my part. Um, I think our E4 is gonna go grab A. I don't know. I'm gonna ask him to grab A. Please, E4. Oh, I was gonna say thank you in chat, but I forgot I have chat turned off. Thank you, E4. 
I need to go back and help our prog anyways. He's overextended here. And he's getting cooked. So, I'm going to see if I can help our Progetto out at all. What else is back here? So, those three there. And this dude's here. There's one unspotted tank, right? There's there's a fourth one here that's not that's not spotted at the moment. It's a Yag. Okay. So, we know the Yag's positioning. We know the Chieftain's probably already pushed through here. And what I'm going to start doing is rotating in to start clearing some of these lower health targets here, maybe. Starting with this 113. There we go. 113 taken out. Chieftain just fired. Has shot into him here. What I'm actually going to do now is rotate away from the Chieftain here. There we go. This is why I love light tanks, by the way. For this precise reason here. And I can cut, sit back and kind of cover E4 while he's working this flank. I don't want to overextend because there's a Yo with that Chieftain. The Yo can basically two-shot me there. But I will sit back here with our E4 and try and provide some assistance. So I just went in there, cleared out some guns, and now I'm rotating back. Uh, but we're going to have to be a little bit more proactive over here if we are going to win this. So, see which way is the Chieftain looking? He's not looking at me. That's good. So one has shot to Mr. Chieftain here. W. And we've actually kind of caught the Chieftain on rotation here. That's an even bigger W, to be honest. And I'm going to start just farming him to the best of my ability. And Mr. Chieftain thinks he can out DPM me. That's adorable. He could definitely make me a one-shot here, but he can't kill me. Before still healthy here. Jaeger is back here. Jaeger just fired his gun. 330 there. 34 is also making a bit of a counter push here. So W. Nice E4. Excellent work there, my dude. Which is this yo looking? Not really looking at me at the moment. Real good work there, E4. Shout out to this player from Triari. Great, uh... Two Canadian great dollars from Burger game. King Bag Cat. Burger King Bag Cat has donated $500. Oh, you got him, E4. You got him. He's all yours. He's on He's on a long reload after he shoots his shot. Just go. You got it. Send it, my dude. Send it and just pen one shot. I believe in you. Let's go, E4. Nice. Good stuff. Me and E4 carrying there. Oh my, Agent 47, thank you for the 10 more gifted subs. I guess that means I gotta go a little longer, doesn't it? That's what you're doing, you're trapping me, but uh, no, no more, no more, uh, I won't stay after these 10 notifications are done. <laughs> Burger King Cat has donated $500, that's funny. But you are incorrect there, because it says your donation before it even reads the message, my dude. It says you donated $2. Uh, well played to that E4, 5,500 damage. Yay, we got a good game to end it. Once again, a very close game. So, like, these last few games actually feel a lot more legit. The last three. Um, and both times I did 5K. Or at least in two of them. But that felt really nice. I think um, that, was, that was a well-played battle there. I actually think that was one of my favorite games of the stream. I'm gonna be honest. Because the rotations I made that game were just crazy. <laughs> it was just like zooming in and out, putting a few shots, picking up a clear, rotating around. I really like that. Uh, as per usual, let's end it with a 183 game. And uh, hopefully it goes well. All right, Agent 47, complete his missions. <laughs> Thank you very much, by the way, Agent 47, for the uh, 10 more gifted subs. If you did receive a membership from Agent 47, do send your thanks in the chat. Membership shopping spree, dude, straight up. <laughs> Thank you so much. Really appreciate that. Oh, my. Uh, I know I messed you up. Uh, no, you, you definitely didn't mess me up. <laughs> you tried, though. Very cunning. So that's why you were doing it right when I was brawling at the end. Shaking my head, man. Shaking my head. Sifty gifted total GG. <laughs> Thank you so much, Agent 47. Yes, you're right. That is 60 gifted mem- My goodness, 50, 60 gifted members. Dude, I am gonna have, like, the top tier YouTube membership perks unlocked for you guys, and I don't even know what to do. I guess I can just upload a bunch more, um... I can upload a ton more <laughs> emojis, probably. I'll, I'll get into doing that because uh, there's just so many of y'all here now. I, I think I, I probably unlocked the maximum perks that you can have for, like, emotes and stuff like that. <laughs> Let's see. Alrighty. And we are on the wrong side of vineyards, Sag. Okay. But let's see. Let's see if we can cook one game in the 183. Oh, I think we only hit him for about 1100 there because he probably had a spall liner, but I have like 1400 alpha on the standard HE there. So that's still cooked. That's still cooked. That's still cooked. 
Uh, the good news is I don't think their team's even really here. Two dollars from Agent Forty Seven. Sixty whoa, gifted whoa, total. Whoa, GG. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh my gosh! Yeah. <laughs> I'm not spotted. Twenty-three hundred damage dealt so far. Let's go. This is what we call cooking. Yo, this is the cooking. I know I can like AP kill him here, but I'm just gonna go for the hash because I have a plan. I have a massive plan. No, I wanted to try max rolling him with the standard HE shell. I wonder if I'll be fast enough to do that. Two dollars from Agent Forty Seven. Mod, Mod when JK, JK you're, you're welcome, welcome brother. <laughs> Thank you very much, Agent 47. Very much appreciate it. I think it's time for the 183 live stream. Dude, this game has just been cooking. All right, let's see. Do we roll average or do we low roll here? Mm -hmm. Of course we low roll them. Why wouldn't I low roll them? Okay, you guys got the clear, right? Because I can't afford to bleed anymore. Thank you. All right. So that's three hash shells in already. Lovely stuff. And now I'm basically in the enemy's spawn, so that's also very cool. Oh, snap. That super bunker is not going to be cool to deal with. And he spotted me from back there? Ain't no way. Ain't no way. Our Yeager's in the back of spawn. The Yag's in Narnia. The Conqueror is pressuring the side just a bit here. So you know what? I'll probably back up just a little bit. A little bit of standard HE, so if he doesn't give me a nice EP shot, I can at least track him. Oh, that's not good. That is very much not good. Uh, E4, please don't overextend here. Not good, not good, not good, not good, not good. Not, not good in the slightest here. I think our E4 is toast, to be honest, at this rate. Yep. Oh, teammates, come on. Now I'm going to get pushed on by the 752 and the Super Bunker. He's going to be expecting me to back up here. Do you know what he's not going to be expecting me? To YOLO him for the kill. 12.05. Dude, the 183 alpha nerfs are killing me, man. What is that? 1,205 damage? No way. Yag, I could really use your help right now. Hello, Mr. Yager. I could really use some assistance over here, buddy. 12.35. Nice. I hate these low rolls. Do you know? Literally, the Conqueror. I, I, is it, what's the 183's alpha now? Is it 1200 or 1250? It's low, I guess. Have you played the Jag Tiger with Tungsten? I have once. It was good. Uh, we cooked that game. We, uh, we definitely cooked that game. Thank you, Vice Station 47. I have played the Jag Tiger with Tungsten on stream uh, a couple times here and there at the end when it was requested. It was pretty funny. Oh, man. That game was so fun. But, like, our E4 just never should have pushed up there. He should have sat back and let them overextend onto us. And then, um, our Leo overextended too. I didn't really expect him to have a 752 sitting at the back of spawn, so that event is that inevitably is what lost us this. But, dude, th I dealt almost 7,000 damage there, right? It was, like, over 6,000 damage there. And they still had so many hit points left. Like, that could have been an eight, 9,000 damage game. That's so sad. 1210? Oh, it's 1210? Yeah, no one I'm low rolling everything. Silly wargaming, man. Silly. I wonder how much I hit the grill for, though. So 6,400 damage dealt there. We hit the grill for 1,069 because of Spall Liner. By the way, the alpha on the standard HE is, I think, 1,400. Yikes, that was a good game. We got, we got, we got to cook up one more time. We got to cook up. <laughs> Although, ah, that was a pretty good game, though. That was a pretty good game. And we've reached an hour and 45. So you know what? I think, uh, I think... I'm going to be true to my word, because like I said, shorter streams, but I'm going to stream a whole lot more often. And I'll probably just give you a little hint right away what I'm going to be doing. I think next stream, or how, do, how about I let you guys decide in chat real quick before before I hop off. Let's let's see. I'm going to do a poll um, called next stream. Oh, I got to end this poll first. Give me a moment. I'll let you guys decide. I will let you guys decide. Uh, out of an option of three. Okay, now I can start a new poll. Next stream vote. It's not gonna be anything too crazy. It's just uh, it's just gonna be the tank. But I will try and give some info. I have it all in my notes here. My okay, bad chat with shotgun. This will be easier for me. Uh, one two one showcase. Uh, 121B showcase. Sorry, I don't think I've showcased 121B in a very long time. 
Uh, we could also do suffering in the 4202. Because, yeah, I'm on a streak of bad tanks. And we could do a updated showcase on 57 heavy. Okay, I'm going to start the poll. You guys can vote. You can decide what, what I'll be streaming next. Good luck. I will end it in a, in like a minute. So hopefully we get like, you know, 100 so votes. We'll see. I think the batch is going to win personally, but we'll see. <laughs> All right. Oh, wow. 57 actually. Wow. Uh, wow. 57 really actually is quite popular. I was not expecting 40% of people to vote for the 57. <laughs> the 422 cooks so hard, it ain't suffering. What do you mean, Starfighter? The 422's garbage. <laughs> well, we got 50 votes so far. You can, if you uh, don't know, just look in the stream chat. You can vote there. Uh, I have a poll running right now. I'm going to let it get to 100 votes, and then that'll be my determining factor. Roughly about 100 votes or so. Hey, used to be. Long time. Good to see you. So, 57 heavy has 43, 41% of the votes now. 81 votes in, 40%. Batch has 27%. Hmm. It's pretty close, but I guess this will determine the order of my next few streams. 40, 44%. Okay, 57 is doing, 57 is cooking. All right. So, boom. Thank you, guys. I appreciate that. Let me just write down so I don't forget the next order of streams. Actually, I will I will remember. And if I if I get it wrong, you guys can just like execute me in chat publicly. Cringy 57 lol. Dude, it's been a long time since I streamed the 57, to be fair. So I can see why. So uh okay. Next stream is going to be T57 heavy, kind of an updated showcase on it, and then I'll probably do batch out with four shot as the stream after that, just for fun. So thank you very much for your guys' input. Do appreciate that. And with that out of the way, I think I will get ready to conclude today. Thank you very much, everybody, for joining today's live stream. For everyone that liked the stream or chatting, Agent47 for, for the massive donos today and gifted members, well. as well as everyone else who participated in uh, supporting the channel. It is very much appreciated. Pedalistry stream win, Agent47, $2. Thank you. Um... Yeah, I'll have to, like, what, do you mean like a sub-platoon stream or just a general platoon stream? I'm not really sure. Um, if it's like just platooning with video or something, I could probably organize that next time a good game that's back uh, or something like that. But if you mean like sub-tunes, then that's probably going to be more of a milestone stream. Uh, I hope that answers your question. All right. Sounds good. Oh, hey, Droodles. Bye, Droodles. <laughs> he was playing Helldivers. Oh, I hope you're having fun with that. Okay, guys. Y'all take care. Have a great night. Thank you very much. I will see you next time and peace. <clears throat>